I, I think it's too easy for CEOs or, or entrepreneurs to be like, okay, let me hire someone. You do that. You do the culture part. I'll do the other part of the business. And I think you need to be a true partner and think about that you're growing a tree and you are the base of where the root and the trunk live. If you do it the other way where you're just like a sub branch, then someone else is going to grow that with their knowledge and influence. And it's just not going to be the same unless you're both together. Right? So what we've done is really break apart. What is a traditional HR function? We've actually put all of our operational groups together. And what that means is every project operationally that comes through the company has a lens from people, the HR side, from the legal side, from the finance side, and from the IT technology side. And so it's one channel of projects and processes that come out. We've realized that we don't need kind of like traditional HR. Instead, the bulk of our budget now goes into leadership development and proactive things that provide value versus I think the traditional approach is a lot about defending a company. It's an interesting play on power and dynamics on where it sits and what it does. We're just kind of like, okay, like, well, what do we need that for? Why wouldn't we optimize all the process stuff, make things very fair and as transparent as we legally and, and ethically can, and then push all of our energy and effort into growing leaders and leadership development.